he's doing his darndest to make sure that he doesn't have to show up in any of these courtrooms because he's definitely afraid of what's going to happen there. He's not Participant, afraid of anything. All big man, not afraid, whatever. I don't, I don't know him, but I don't think that that man who doesn't want to even sleep in a hotel bed wants to go to jail. He has said before that he supports a 15 or 16 week ban, so I, I don't know if he's going to be consistent with that. Fox News liberal Jessica Tarlov had some pretty true things to say about Trump in a rather brutal takedown that, of course, her hosts were not that happy with. It seems that anytime the facts start to come out, they all have to jump to cut her off as quick as they can and speak over her four to one. This time it was Janine Pirro taking exception to Tarlov calling Trump out as scared. Let's take a look. To say that Joe Biden is the threat to democracy considering what Donald Trump and his band of lawyers tried to pull off in 2020 is complete insanity. I mean, he dispatched lawyers all over the country to overturn a free and fair election. A lot of them have pled out to doing this. A lot of them are still to face trial. And he's doing his darndest to make sure that he doesn't have to show up in any of these courtrooms because he's definitely afraid of what's going to happen there. And as many of these January 6th He's not Participant, afraid of anything. All big man, not afraid, whatever. I know him. Okay, not. I'm sure you, you do know him, and I don't know him, but I don't think that that man who doesn't want to even sleep in a hotel bed wants to go to jail. So don't refute what happened. We know about Sidney Powell. We know about John Eastman, who just got disbarred. The Rudy Giuliani, who's obviously not in very good position, how the mighty have fallen. Donald Trump is absolutely scared. He's facing 91 charges. And as Tarlov said, this is a man who didn't want to sleep in a hotel bed. But you're going to tell me he has no fear in his heart about a jail bed. Okay. Only one judge in all these trials is playing ball with him, and it's the one that he appointed. He's lost the fraud and sexual assault cases. He's bleeding support in his own party, where right now I believe he's hinging everything on winning the presidency and then clearing his name. And the more and more that looks like hard or an obstacle to get to, the more panic is going to set in. And once he loses, I believe we enter that next stage when that realization really sets in like, oh, I'm not going to be able to pardon myself. Biden's not going to pardon me. I've been attacking the DOJ like they're they're going to come at me. But there's a reason he's been siphoning money from his campaign to his legal fees. There's a reason why after Lena Habba lost him the fraud case, he shuffled her into the background of his lawyers. He very much doesn't want to be held accountable for his actions. He doesn't want to even have to concede a single step. He definitely doesn't want to lose his bankroll and assets or even credibility and power. I think he realizes once guilty verdicts come in, it's kind of all over. There's no more Republican or MAGA cope go beating around that bush. And that's why he's preempting this with placing his family at the RNC, trying to do whatever he can to preserve influence and power, even once he is held accountable for his action. We had the ruling taking us back to 1864 in Arizona about abortion, because Latino votes in, in Nevada and Arizona are what are going to be really crucial there. 57% of Hispanics say abortion should be legal in all or most cases. And Donald Trump is out there defending his stance of you leave it to the states. He did say today, I won't support a federal abortion ban. He has said before that he supports a 15 or 16 week ban. So I, I don't know if he's going to be consistent with that. Yes, this is an issue that Republicans are losing massively on and have been losing massively on, which is why they try to frame it in whatever way possible to gain some ground. Hence the late term abortion and post birth abortion lies. Though if you ask people to name one name or an example, they can never do so. It's just these faceless, nameless beings carrying out these procedures, I guess. And you don't get to be the one to proudly overturn Roe, brag about it against all warnings of what would happen. And then when exactly what you were warned against happens, the state's just going extremely draconian. You just want to go, not me. It's the states. No, you empower the states. You allowed them to do this. You were warned against it. And you said, I'm just going to do what my uh, my conservative base wants me to do. And as Jessica said, he's been super shaky on the abortion stuff. I wouldn't trust him to stay consistent one bit just because now where it's clear how unpopular a federal ban of abortion is, he's saying, well, I wouldn't ban it federally. Me, Trump, I would never do that. I just threw it back to the states who are now banning it at six weeks and, and 10 weeks or completely with no exceptions and forcing children to carry to term. It's all about power with him. So he'll say that now when he needs the support, but I wouldn't put him past him if he had the votes to pass a six week ban. 
because that's all that matters to him and why you can't trust him. He wants to be able to play moderate on issues optically when really he's an extremist. So you have to be sure to down the ballot vote blue, put in blue majority. So even if he wins the presidency, he doesn't have the seats to enact this at a federal level. And if, as we're all hoping, he loses the presidency at a state level, we can begin to push back against this. So your area code isn't what determines the level of healthcare accessible. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together.